All right, chat. So, drip marketing. We have Chiori, and I think that's the only thing we really have. I mean, obviously, we have the stuff that's already out, but Chiori, if you guys don't know, Chiori was in the, uh, well, if you missed it, because Genshin removed it, because they do that with events to save as much data for you guys as I, as they can. I mean, they're already making you download a 100 gigs plus on your mobile devices, so I get it. Um, dual wielding. Chiori. Fashion designer dual wielding. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it, chat. I don't believe it. I, I'm not getting clickbaited again. I'm not getting clickbaited again. We got clickbaited with uh, Chevrus with her gun. I'm not getting clickbaited. I am not getting clickbaited. This is at most might be her E or her alt. And that, uh, no, no, I'll hate them. That's not really dual blade. That is him using his sword and then kicking it around. And that is literally like part of his animation, but it's not really dual blading. All right. This is not what this is. It's going to be her E. It's going to be her burst. Is it going to look cool? Probably. But I don't, I'm, I refuse to fall for the bait. Geo child, that would be sick, actually. I, I do love her design. I know that a lot of people are very like iffy about it. I love her design personally. Okay, one of the busiest streets in Fontaine's quarterly Leonese lies a clothing store called Chiori Boutique. Though it may seem un unassumably small, you'll notice the pa that passerby often stop to peer in. People say its boss, Chiori, hails from Inazuma, and that she is as direct as a bolt of lightning. They know what happens to those who insist on interfering with her business, having witnessed the fallout with their own eyes. Not only do such meddlers invariably end up tasting the bitterness of defeat, but some of them, for the very first time in their lives, Learn what it's like, what it feels like. You bitch. What it feels like to be thrown backside first into the gutter. gutter. Literally. What sort of background and upbringing gives a foreign fashion designer the confidence to act so boldly? This is the question that local journalists ask one another when they hear or witness such spectacles. Their eyes wide with amazement. They're constantly on the hunt for anecdotes that might shed some light on her past. Some even have traveled all the way to Inazuma to secretly interview her friends, family, and former tailoring mentor. Brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> Obstinate. Headstrong and disobedient from a young age, even daring to forego honorifics when addressing her elders. Overall, not a particularly positive picture. Chiori's parents alone would let out a smile, saying that she just has a unique way of thinking and is single-mindedly devoted to the pursuit of her dreams. Miss Chiori, may I ask, how did you manage to achieve such success? Such success, and what are the secrets to designing such wonderful clothes? Sitting opposite, Chiori began to put away her needles and thread as she stared coldly back at the journalist, yes. masquerading as a customer. I make whatever I wish to, however I wish to. How about you then? Are you planning to buy anything or not? I am excited for her story quest. She seems very sassy. I mean, we've gotten to experience her sass in the uh, event where we were making a movie with the others. Um... But yeah, so Chiori's really good with her hands. Uh, what? Ooh, full shot. Uh, with her hands, whenever I try on a new outfit, she always does my hair too. It's all part of the package, she says. Haha, <laughs> I just love it when she brushes my fur, Kiara. Title, The Thundering Seamstress, which is really funny because she's Geo and not Thunder. Which, hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we may get some thunder elements. That'd be interesting. Like just some shred of lightning, but like through Geo. Interesting. But yeah, honestly, out of all the newer characters that we've gotten, um, Shiori is like a nice breath of fresh air because she's just a sassy bitch who knows it. <laughs> I really like it. I really like her. I, I'm actually really excited for her. Uh, out of any story quest, it's like, I mean, we've gotten story quests from Baiju and like uh, Yoimiya. Uh, and like, I mean, some story quests I'm like not looking forward to. Some I am like Nouvellet and Farina. 
Risley's, I'm like, meh, I mean, maybe I'm kind of interested, but like, not really. Um, even though I'm obsessed with Cloud Retainer Mommy, um, I don't know much about her story. I, I, I don't know much about her, uh, the, her story that we're going to get into, uh, her story quest. Um, and I don't know if I'll be too interested. Like, I'm excited to figure out, like, what her thing is, but we kind of already gotten a sense of the character she is, you know? Uh, but Shiori, I am, it's one of those characters that I am actually really excited about. I have no idea if she's going to be a four star or a five star. Honestly, I could see it going either way. Um, so personally, I hope it's a five star because I would like to see the story quest of Chiori. But because we did get that event, I have a feeling she may be a four star. But I am hoping for a five star, especially because if she's a five star, maybe those dual blades will actually mean something. Because if she's a four star, those dual blades are absolutely clickbait. A hundred percent. Anyway, I'm excited for Shiori. She looks cool. Um, I mean, and she's a sassy bitch. I mean, I'm really excited for her thing. All right. Now, 